Hey guys, Transformers Fan 5000 here. Today we are going to be taking a look at my review on Transformers Robots in Disguise Season 2 Episode 6 Brain Power. This video will contain episode spoilers, so be sure to watch the episode which I will leave as a link in the description box below, then return to watch this review. Firstly, the new red minicon named Torpor, I thought was cool. He uses bright lights to put the Autobots into a trance. I can't say whether we will see Torpor again, but I hope we do. Secondly, the toaster scene in the scrapyard was quite funny. This shows more character development from the humans, but it also shows just that little bit extra added to the story of this episode. Another thing I wanted to discuss was the data from the data cylinder going into Grimlock's head. Now if you listen carefully there's actually a Transformers reference to Transformers Prime, the episode TMI. As Bumblebee refers to the time Bulkhead received data from a cylinder and became smarter, Though Grimlock says the same cure won't work as Autobots and Dinobots, structures are different. The other three new Decepticons, Simicore, Axiom and Theorem, were pretty cool. Originally I thought the three came from Glowstrike's army, but it doesn't seem that way, unless it's explained later in the season. Simicore was a lot bigger than I thought as well. We saw Grimlock fighting Simicore. Grimlock was beaten only because of his knowledge overriding his capability to fight. But if Grimlock was good old Grimlock, he would have no doubt beaten Simicore easily. So as I have said before, Overloaded Parts 1 and 2 was about Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. Suspended was about Strongarm and Cover Me was about Windblade. This episode, Brain Power, was about Grimlock, so it seems Hasbro are giving each character their own episodes, which is hopefully going to please a lot of fans. My final point that I wanted to review was how serious this episode really was. The particle accelerator cannon that Bumblebee and Strongarm were magnetised to actually proved how serious this episode was. You may not have noticed this, but this episode was actually very serious and mature. As soon as Strongarm got freed just before the blast from the particle accelerator cannon it fired, Strongarm only needed to be that bit slower and Strongarm could have actually died in this episode. So that actually shows how serious this episode actually is. So my opinion, I thought it was a great and enjoyable episode. It was a more modern version of the original Generation 1 episode, Grimlock's New Brain, which is one of my favourite G1 episodes. So this episode was good in my opinion, and be sure to let me know your opinions of this episode. So, if you've enjoyed this episode review, please like, comment, subscribe and share, and stay tuned for the next episode review. Till then, till all are one.